So you're going to meet uh, quite a number of different sequences and you need to be able to identify what type of sequence they are. Okay? So you need to be able to tell whether a sequence converges or if it diverges or if it is periodic or it oscillates. Okay? So um, I'm going to go through some examples explaining each of these concepts. So firstly, if a sequence is converging, that means that the difference between each of its terms is decreasing. Okay? So for example, okay, a converging sequence might look like this. You might start off with 10 and then it would be 5 and then it would be 2.5 and then 1.25 and then um, half of 1.25 which isn't immediately coming to my brain so 0. Um, 0. 0.625 and so on okay so this sequence is converging each number is halving each time okay and you can see that the gap between each successive pair is decreasing okay uh, in a similar way, you might have something like um, 4.1, 4.01, 4 4.001, 4.0001, and so forth, okay? So, as I said before, the difference between each successive pair is decreasing. And you can generally see uh, what number... Uh, the sequence is converging to. So as I have these numbers uh, over and over and over again, this number is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and is getting closer and closer to zero. Uh, for this sequence, you can see that uh, this is getting closer and closer and closer to four. Okay, So both of these sequences would be said to be converging. Now, a diverging sequence, um, if you go by the actual definition of one, is a sequence that does not converge. Okay? So, um, in that way, what's happening is you could have a sequence that looks like this. You could have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and so on, okay? So each time it's doubling. The, it's not converging towards a specific number, it is diverging, okay? So it's each successive term is, uh, the gap rather, each gap is larger than the next, okay? Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that the gap needs to get larger. Um, the sequence one, two, three, four, five, and so on, this is also a divergent sequence. I'm not adding on a larger amount each time, it's just that this is diverging because it is not converging. Okay? So that is what we would mean by a divergent sequence. Now, if the sequence is periodic, then that means it repeats itself. Um, after a certain amount of uh, terms, okay? So you could have a periodic sequence being something like uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, etc. Or it could be um, 1, 7, uh, 5, 1, 7, 5, 1, 7, 5, okay? And both of these would be deemed to be periodic. Okay, because that this one would have a period of two, because uh, it's repeating every two terms, and this has a period of three because it's repeating every three terms. Okay, so that's what we would deem as a periodic uh, sequence. So, what does it mean uh, to oscillate? Well, for a sequence to oscillate, it must be um, well oscillating between some middle value. 
So you could call uh, this sequence uh, oscillating. Okay, you could say that it is oscillating uh, between uh, around 1.5. Okay, so you could have said that is oscillating as well. Um, you could have something like 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, uh, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, etc. And you can see that the values are oscillating around 0. So the actual value that you're oscillating around doesn't necessarily actually have to be part of the sequence, but it is in that case there. Okay? Um, you could likewise have um, something like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Okay? So in both of these cases, um, the sequence is oscillating. And likewise, I mean, you could. Um, deem these um, periodic in the sense that that is being repeated each time, okay? And likewise, um, one all the way up to two there is being repeated each time, okay? So some of these sequences will have um, one or more descriptions. They don't have to be just one single thing. So. Um, just be aware of that, and you need to be able to identify uh, which is which.